Well, good afternoon. I always say that. Good morning. Well, it's morning for me. It is 11, let's see, what is it? 11.31 on a Sunday. We are coming at you from South Texas, deep, deep South Texas. You can't get much deeper in Texas before you actually leave the country. Today's weather report, gloomy, cloudy, overcast, 78 degrees, and the birds are back doing their bird springtime things. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, it is Sunday once again. Of course, we have the new, for anybody who's new or maybe just joining the channel, we do have the 2024 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport here. And I've been uh, considering a mod recently, which I'm gonna get into in a minute. It is a major mod and a relatively expensive mod um, that will be the biggest one on the truck so far. Now, I have done some things to the truck. Most recently, I put a video out about the debadging. And let me tell you, on this Tacoma, debadging was a pain in the arse. Um, they've changed some things. Not so much on the... Uh, Let's see, I'll show you. Not so much on the Tacoma badge right down there or what was right down there. That was yeah, pretty much the same, except they did change the badge itself. It used to be a, an overlay. When you got the blackout package, you got a cheapo, thin, sometimes mangled, if you've ever looked at yours closely, overlay that actually went over the chrome that used to be on the front of the truck. Now it is a fully black all the way through, well, for the most part, as much as I could tell, uh, Tacoma bad. So it's like a solid piece. It's no longer some cheapo overlay. That must be why the price of the Tacoma is so high now, because they're using higher quality materials, right? I don't think so. And then also, we did another, and this was a royal pain. Right back here on the back, there was that chintzy, cheapo-looking sticker, and it almost looked kind of crooked. I think it was straight for the lines of the truck, maybe, but not so straight to the eye, and it looked like an afterthought. I think whoever in the design department came up with that decal probably should be looked at because it was garbage. It looked like garbage, but even worse, getting it off was a pain. It was like, I don't know, it was like plastic over some thinner plastic or even paperish kind of material, and then the adhesive. And the top part just kind of peeled off, but it left a, a second layer that material or liquid, I guess, couldn't penetrate through. So you couldn't get through that material to the adhesive on the back to be able to remove it, right? So you kind of had to, man, and I hate to say this, you had to use your fingernails. Using fingernails to get anything off a painted surface sucks because you can scratch it, right? Now, I don't have any scratches. I was really careful when I did it. I used heat. I used a ton of Gooby Gone, or Goo Gone, I guess it is. And it came off in about an hour and a half, uh, two hours, I think, maybe, for the whole job, which shouldn't take that long, right? I mean, you're just pulling uh, stickers off. They should just come right off. Now, a couple people have told me that they actually left the truck sit out in the sun, which is the smartest way to do it, of course, and let it heat up. I was too impatient for that, and it was probably a cloudy day like we have today, so I didn't have a lot of sun, so I chose to use a hairdryer. And let me tell you, the surface was pretty hot. I mean, in resting my hands on the surface to take those decals off, uh, it was almost burning hot on my hands. Not hot enough to damage the paint, but still hot. And I would highly recommend, if you're doing something like this, you don't use a heat gun because heat guns just get too freaking hot. Use a hairdryer. Um, use the same care that you would on your own head, right? Um, but nonetheless, they came off. Everything is good now, so I am pretty happy about that. Let's, uh, let's check a couple comments. I see we've got some early commenters on here. By the way, if you're just flipping in, you know, scrolling through the YouTube live thing, 
Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Also, the thumbs up. I'd appreciate that too. So a couple comments right off the bat. We got Joe K says, glad Toyota added, Toyota added the bed rail below the back windows again. Uh, I had to add that to my 2023 for additional tie down points. Yeah, and if you don't know what he's talking about, I will show you because it is on mine and I was happy about that as well. He's talking about the rail that runs across the front right here. They, for some reason, for years, did not include that rail. You had to buy it separately, either in the aftermarket or maybe from Toyota, I don't know. They still provided all the screw holes, but you didn't have that bracket. You had the side brackets, but not that one. So now we actually have that on the truck. Seems to come standard. Again, probably a good reason why Toyota increased the price of the truck, I don't know. But yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about and no, we did not have it in the past, but we do have it now. Uh, let's see, uh, Wiley says, what's up Rob? Wiley, how you doing there buddy? Tim says, morning, good morning Tim. Tim triple thumbed up. I appreciate that Tim. By the way, if you haven't, click that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. Uh, off times the wall times wall. Off times the wall times wall. Uh, Kirkland Dominic Toretto. Um, I don't know what that means, but is that your real name? I don't know. Uh, and then something else, I don't know what that means either. Uh, Harry Shadow, thumbs up. Thank you, Harry, I appreciate that. William Courtney, another thumbs up, I appreciate that. And Fa Fadi Ani, An Ani, I tried, I really did. Uh, gave a thumbs up and a, a, one of those dab-like things. I don't know, I don't know what that is. But thank you, Scout. Only here to see them rob guns. Yeah, look at those puppies, look at them. They're like inverted, they go down now. I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see, Mike Mikado. Good morning, Rob. Tacoma looks awesome without the uh, afterthought decals. I know. What, I mean, what the hell were they doing on the back? That back decal was, I know you probably you can't see it. Well, you can't see it because it's gone. I got rid of it. But that back decal was horrid. When I first saw the truck, it's one of the first things that caught my eye. And I thought, what did they do that for? Ugh, but it's not on my truck anymore after a lot of freaking work. Uh, we're gonna get to the main topic here. You saw in the thumbnail, uh, me lifting up that Tacoma, you know. Uh, we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that in just a couple minutes. Uh, Sean P says, uh, uh, another, let's see, off the wall, off wish. I don't know what that means either. I don't know what any of that means. Uh, the red hoods, how many inches of lift are you gonna get? I'm gonna get into that in just a second too. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Um, let's see, I've lost my spot. Where was I? Uh, Robert Hannaford, uh, the passenger side grip seems almost useless. Yeah, that thing, you're talking about the, the grab handle on the inside of the A-pillar there. It's almost like you have to, you have to hook your fingers into it. It's very small and if you have uh, giant hands, it's probably useless to you. I don't know why they put it there. And I really don't know why they shrunk it so much. And of course, we don't have one on the driver's side yet. I don't know, maybe we never will. You know what, I'll bet you that's an upcoming uh, mid-level refresh. They're gonna add that grab handle that everybody wants to the driver's side and we're finally gonna have one. I don't know, you'll have to let me know what you think. Will they add it, won't they add it? Why in the hell haven't they added it? I, I don't know, man. Uh, let's see, uh, where was I? Tim, love that red solid uh, person. Love that red solid person the other day. Nice little lift and a real nice set of rims and tires, perfection. Yeah, red, a, a lift on this truck, I think would really look awesome. And I saw in person, there's a video coming out, you guys will get to see the whole thing. Uh, a lifted Tacoma, the 2024 Tacoma, of course. Um, Ryan Loper, can you get a 24 TRD off-road in manual with a six-foot bed or only a five-foot bed? I believe, and if you check Toyota's build site, you'll know, but I believe you can only get it in a five-foot.
foot, I believe. I'm not positive though. Tim says, correction, saw it. Ah, gotcha. Uh, the Red Hoods, do you have any Tacoma tattoos? Uh, no, I do not. I do not brand myself with uh, brands from companies unless they wanted to pay me a heck of a lot of money. You know, I mean, why would I put a brand from a company? I'd put my own brand. If I was going to do anything, I would go rob motive or something, you know? I don't know. Maybe, you know what? If the channel hits, let's say, 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year, boy, wouldn't that be a feat. Um, I'll do that. I'll get a rob motive tattoo, and I'll show you guys. Matter of fact, I'll even, uh, I don't know if YouTube would allow it to be done. Um, maybe I'd live stream it or something. I don't know. You know, me screaming in agony and pain uh, because it is painful. If you've never gotten one before, I don't care what anybody says. It freaking hurts a lot. Ah. Let's see. Um, where was I? Um, the Red Hood says, can you put my name next to the Rob Motive tattoo? Uh, that would be no. Why in the world would you even ask such a question? No, I wouldn't put your name. I wouldn't put anybody. I might put my own name. I don't know. Um, so, been doing some mods on this truck. There's going to be videos coming up. Uh, I'm not going to uh, to release. we got bugs in here. We're not going to release any info yet, but let's just say I've been a little busy. Um you can't see what I've done yet, um, probably because of excellent camera angles and also uh, they're, they're kind of hidden, but they're there and they're gonna be very, very useful. Now, I had a question I should uh, uh, answer, I guess. Somebody asked me, I think it was a couple days ago, about the uh, sport bar that you see sitting up there on the top. How is that going to fit? with the roof spoiler. That's what I'm calling this now. This is the roof spoiler on the 24 Tacoma. Now, it's not gonna be an issue because you see, when that has been mounted on other trucks, it kind of stops about right here. And I don't know if you can tell perspective. Uh, it's not going to be up against or even close to the spoiler on the roof of the Tacoma. So there really shouldn't be any Problems. I mean, I don't put it all the way up against the uh, the back of the cab anyway. I always leave a bit of a gap. So I think because if you look, that roof spoiler um, doesn't seem to really even come as far as this rail down here, this inside rail. So it means the the sport bar would only be about that close uh, at worst. Uh, so I don't think it's going to be any issue. I think it'll fit on there fine. Really, the only issue I have is because of the square look of the back of this truck now, even though we do have some angle over here, right? But we have a lot of angle, and the sport bar itself is rounded. So I'm not sure how it's going to marry up. I'm hoping that it looks even better uh, than what it has on past trucks, but we shall see. I'm not positive how it's going to look. I think it should be pretty good. By the way, if you're just kicking in here, you just stumbled into this awesome live stream feed, click that subscribe button if you would. I really would appreciate it. Shows me a little bit of love. That's right. I said it. Anyway, um, it should fit pretty good on there, I think. We shall see. Again, somebody asked me about that the other day. How is it going to marry up? with the back of the truck, and I think it should be fine. No issues. We're gonna get to the, the topic of this whole live stream here in just a minute. Of course, it's regarding a lift. And I'm gonna tell you, uh, you'll be able to see uh, a little bit later on. The truck is not lifted yet. Uh, let's move on. Uh, the Red Hood's laughing like a mad person. I don't know, the Ram guy, nice shades. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. They're going to be changing. I've got some new spectacles on the way. Um, these are pretty ratty, actually. They they started to uh, lose. I don't know if you guys can see, but the, the shade part has started to come off all the way around the edges. It's really kind of odd. I think it's because of the heat. Um, but they're going to be changing. DIY Tacoma says, let's see it. Let's see it. See what? 
Uh, Taco Dream Maker. Happy Sunday, Rob. Happy Sunday to you, Dream Maker. Uh, Oscarin 7484. Hello, Rob. A question. Have you noticed the window gasket is coming off or coming loose on your Tacoma? No, no. I haven't noticed any problems with this Tacoma. Not one. And you know, I'm generally pretty picky. People always accuse me. Oh, well, you say you hated the new Tacoma, but then you bought one. Hypocrite. And I'm like, you know, there's a difference between hating something and simply pointing out the imperfections or maybe problems with things. I never hated it. I mean, come on, man. Tom Griffith, Rob, did your truck come with hood struts? No, it did not. And why doesn't it? I don't know. They moved the, uh, the rod, by the way. It used to be in the center and then it would come up and it'd be kind of in the center of everything if you were trying to do something under the hood. They moved it to the driver's side. So now it kind of goes up on the edge and you have the whole bay of the engine open in front of you so that you can get under there and do stuff. That was actually a good move, I think, if they had to keep the hood strut. I don't know why they don't, or the, the hood rod. I don't know why they haven't gone to struts, but you know, whatever. Uh, HBC Mellow says, Yoda Gang, J Stone Specialists, LLC, uh, hi, uh, Scarin, mine is coming a little bit loose on the corners of the passenger side. I noticed this morning when I was cleaning it. Really? Wow. Now, what do you, do you have the new Tacoma? I don't remember if you've told me or not. The 2024? Uh, let's see. Uh, Smaro, 77. Do you think the prices on the new Tacomas are going to come down eventually? No, I don't think the prices are going to come down. However, I do think that... Once the initial push is over and the first wave of folks that want the new Tacoma get them, I think Toyota may uh, start having some incentives and stuff, but I don't think the price is necessarily going to come down. Although, really, having rebates and stuff does bring the price down, right? So you tell me. I don't know. Uh, Mike Mikado, noticed there was a hard mat in the back. Is it the original from your third gen or a different one? Ah, you have a good eye, my friend. I have a video coming out on that as well. It is the uh, it is the mat from the third gen. However, it did require some uh, modifications. Uh, it does not fit. If you have a third gen mat from the Toyota Tacoma, which by the way happens to be this one right here, the fourth gen, I mean. Uh, look at that color, man. Is that not sexy or what? Is there a better color? I don't know. For the fourth gen, I'm saying. The best color ever, of course, is Voodoo Blue, which, by the way, you can see right here. I have the grill uh, from the Voodoo Blue Tacoma, the outside edge. And then we also have a Voodoo Blue Tacoma sitting here. Uh, someone had sent me actually more than one of those. We have that one, and then I have at least three more here that folks had sent me, which is really cool, man. And then we also, somebody sent me this one. They may have known something. Check that out. Does that look familiar? Does that look like anything you've, uh, you've seen around? Does that, does that look familiar? Somebody sent me that a while back. Now, this is a pro. Um, it does have the blacked out uh, scoop. Uh, and of course, it's lifted. It has bigger wheels and tires, has the black... Uh, fender flares and stuff, which actually looks pretty good. I think black fender flares on this truck uh, probably would be pretty sharp. And that may be a mod down the road. I don't know. I don't know if I'd do that or not. But I could see uh, somehow maybe blacking out the, the hood scoop on here. Uh, I think that would look pretty cool. And for a mod that I think I'm going to do, I need to remove that hood scoop anyway. So maybe, uh, maybe I'll paint that or something. I don't know. That would be the biggest, I think the biggest part I would have ever painted, uh, which worries me a little bit because I'm not a professional painter. But I do think that would look good if it was in black on the hood of the truck, as well as black uh, fender flares and possibly black uh, mirror caps. You know, I always change out the mirror caps to black, and I think that might look good. So between black up there, black here, and black on the fender flares. But that leaves me a bit of a conundrum with the wheels. Um, I'll tell you about that in just a minute. Uh, we're gonna get to that here in just a second, uh, but we shall see. 
Uh, let's uh, do some more comments, and then we're going to get to the main topic on here, the 2024 Tacoma Lift. Uh, let's see. Uh, HBC Mellow. How do you feel about the Camry TRDs? Uh, I like them. I think they're pretty slick. Mike, thumbs up. Uh, HBC Mellow. Also, I miss your green Yoda, LOL. You know, it's so funny. I got that electric lime Tacoma, the electric lime green, and man, did I catch a bunch of flack for that. How ugly it was, how it was the worst color Toyota had. And then I traded in for a 2024, and all of a sudden, everybody loves it. I miss the truck. It was a great color. Why did you get rid of that? What? I mean, come on, man. You can't win. You can't freaking win. I'm just saying. Uh, S. Morrow, I uh, said that because my son bought a 23 Tundra when they first came out, and he got it for 67K. A friend of mine just bought a 2024 Tundra for 58K, same model, TRD Sport. Now, did he get it for that price because they lowered the sticker or because they offered rebates or cash back or stuff like that? OP, oh, what's up from Thailand? OP, long way away from me. Thanks for joining. How you doing? Chad Kranax. Hey, Chad. Now, you may notice I got to give a shout out to Chad. Chad is a channel member, and you know that because his name is highlighted in green. If you want, you can check that out. There's a join button. If you click that, nothing weird's going to happen. It will just bring up what it means and what it is and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, Chad says, hey, Rob, what's up? Just uh, got through uh, with watching your Jeep channel. Awesome. I do have two other channels. A uh, little self-promotion here. Uh, Rob Motive JL, which is about the Jeep. In case you didn't know, I have two Jeeps here. There's one. Well, you can see both there. An orange, uh, pumpkin orange, they call it, and anvil in the background. That's Rob Motive JL. And Rob Motive 2, which is spelled T. Oh, oh, currently that is about the RAV4, which I recently got, which you guys can see sitting out there behind the Tacoma. Check those out if you would. And since we're talking about checking things out, click that subscribe button if you wouldn't mind. I really would appreciate it. Helps out the channel. Makes me feel good. All warm and fuzzy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Tim says, happy Sunday, Rob. Happy Sunday, Tim. Oh, and then Tim changed his mind and took his message away. Tim, what happened? All right, let's get into it. Let's talk about, first I need a sip of the green nectar because this is serious business we're going to talk about. Brand 700, is your new truck a 4x4, Rob? Sorry, I forgot. No, it's a 4x2. I don't need a 4x4. I've got two Jeeps sitting out there if I need 4x4, which I don't need in them either. Ah. That's mighty tasty. All right, let's talk about this lift business. Of course, the 2024 Tacoma needs a lift, right? I don't know if you guys have seen any pictures of that. I think it's a rough country truck. I'm not sure, but it is the supersonic red. They've got a rough country lift on it, bigger tires, different wheels, <clears throat> and other products that they provide, right? And it looks freaking awesome, man. So I actually... Uh, I'm friends with the salesman that I bought this, this truck from, friends on Facebook. Um, so uh, he posted up a picture of a lifted 2024 Tacoma that they just did. They actually did it at the dealership, which I like. I would much rather have a lift done at the dealership, even though I know it's probably going to cost me a little bit more money, maybe. I don't know. But I would rather have it done at the dealership. Well, they lifted this white it was an SR5, which by the way, it's for sale over there. Uh, if anybody's in South Texas and you're looking for an already lifted Tacoma that looks pretty sweet, uh, check them out. It's called uh, Toyota of Far, P-H-A-R-R. -R, and I'm sure if you're from here, you know where that is. Um, and ask for Josh Linden. Um, it's for sale right now over there. But anyway, it is a lifted truck and they utilize the lift that Toyota provides. That is the kicker. It is the Toyota Genuine, and I'm sure it's rebranded. I don't know that Toyota manufactures lifts. But nonetheless, it's the lift that you get from Toyota. I'm assuming the one that you've probably seen that crate for 
You know, everybody always says, if you're going to get that lift, make sure you keep the box that it comes in because it's a pretty cool looking wooden box. I kind of agree. I'm going to have to ask about that. Uh, but anyway, I saw it posted uh, on his Facebook and I got a hold of him and asked him about, can it be done on the TRD Sport two-wheel drive? Because I'd seen some conflicting information from Toyota uh, about whether or not it could be done on a two-wheel drive. And I know through my own experience that there's no reason it couldn't be. It simply means that not all of the parts that come in the kit would be used on my truck because it is a two-wheel drive, right? So there'd be some leftover parts. Well, I don't give a, I don't care about that. That doesn't matter to me. I just want the lift in the front, which would be new shocks, which would be cool. New, uh, oh, what the heck, I, the word escapes me. You know, the U-shaped piece in there? Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot what that's called. What the heck, man? The, the U thing on the top, that's replaced and it looks like a much stouter um, piece of steel than what's on the truck right now, which is like hollow aluminum. And then some work on the back as well. I'm not sure exactly what they do in the back. I looked under the truck and in the video that I have coming out about the lift, um, I, I took some wheel well pictures and stuff that you guys will be able to see. So maybe you'll be able to point it out. I noticed most of what's done is in the front and that is much beefier shocks, probably coils, I'm not exactly sure. Um, they will do control arms. I'm not sure. I mean, you wouldn't do control arms on a two-wheel drive, right? So that would probably be the only thing that's left off, and that sounds like a bargaining point for me because they can keep them. I don't need them. Um, as far as the, the size of the lift or the height of the lift, by the way, before we get to that, we got 127 people on here. Click that subscribe button if you haven't before. I'd really appreciate it. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos or live streams or whatever. And smash that thumbs up button while you're in here. It's always amazing to me. We have 133 people in here now and only 11 people like it. This must be like punishment. You know, somebody does something wrong and they're told to go watch the Rob Motive live stream for half an hour, an hour, whatever. That's their punishment. I don't know what it is. Uh, but anyway, if you wouldn't mind, smash that subscribe button. So back to the lift. It's a three inch lift, uh, which is pretty stout, man. I thought it was a two inch lift. They told me at the dealership it was about three inches, they said. So I imagine it's probably like two and three quarters, something like that. I don't know. But anything above two inches is cool. <clears throat> now, it is not a level lift. So that means, let's take a look. I haven't really even noticed. I mean, the truck has some rake in it, right? I mean, it's not a lot. It doesn't appear to me to be as pronounced. Look at that wheel well gap here, and then keep that picture in your, in your mind, and look at the wheel well here. I mean, it's, I know I have the post in the way, right? It doesn't appear to me to be that pronounced. So I don't know if it really, excuse me, really matters, but nonetheless, it is a, uh, it is not a level lift. So when you're done with that lift, you're not going to have a level truck, right? And that's not a big deal. I don't really care so much, only because I don't see a huge rake. I see it better now, actually, that I'm standing at this angle. And by that, I mean the front end points down a little bit. Eh, not a big deal to me. I, I don't really care about that, so eh, it'll be all right. Now, uh, wheels and tires. This is a package, by the way, that my dealership is, is offering. Um, you get the lift, the labor, uh, and wheels and tires. And of course you have to pay tax because you know you can't ever get away from that. Um, the wheels and tires, they have, I think, three or four different wheels that you can choose from. The wheels that were on the truck that I went to look at <clears throat> were TRD wheels. They were black and eh, I wouldn't say they were, they're not exactly like what's on the truck right now. Um, but anyway, they are black painted wheels. They look pretty darn good, I think. Um, the only other thing I'm considering on this truck is maybe going with a bronze wheel uh, because I think bronze would look good against the red uh, or maybe not. I don't know. It's one of those things that I wouldn't know until I put it on. And then, you know, if I drove away from the, the shop, it would be too late to do anything about. But I do think bronze wheels would actually look pretty darn good on this truck. So who knows? 
Uh, as far as cost, we're going to get to cost in just a second. Let me catch up with uh, some comments. I assume there's some more comments on here. Uh, let's see. Brand 700 says, is your new truck? I already, already answered that. Lenny Perry. Hello, Lenny. How you doing there, buddy? Uh, Lenny says, did you take the front panel off? Uh, I did indeed. You might be able to see it from here. There you go. See that? No chin strap or air dam on the front of my truck. That was hideously ugly. Uh, but it also makes room for another mod that I just discovered recently. Um, and I bought some for the back. So it goes, you do them on the front and the back. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's on order and it's coming about 130 bucks, something like that. And it should be pretty cool, particularly if I decide to go ahead with the lift on the truck. If, um, Tim says, happy Sunday, Rob. Got to run truck. Truck is looking, uh, good. Thank you, Tim. Appreciate it. Appreciate you clicking in here, by the way. Lenny Perry or skirt. Yeah, they call it a skirt, chin strap, air dam. I think technically it's called an air dam. And by the way, speaking of myths, which we weren't, um, people have been stating that if you take that off, you're going to lose five miles per gallon. I'm here to tell you that's a bunch of hoo-ha. Um, I haven't lost anything that I can tell. Now, maybe if you're on the freeway and you're traveling higher speeds, maybe you'd lose some aerodynamic uh, qualities that would result in the loss of fuel economy. I don't know. But I haven't noticed anything. So take that with a grain of salt. Uh, Joshy Man, you ever take a bathroom break inside the... Now, see, that's just... That's one of those... That must be a 10-year-old. You know, sometimes we get children in here. I don't know why, but that comment, I mean, give me a break. Elizardo says control arms. Yeah, that's one thing that they provide, but I'm talking about the, at the top, what the hell is it called? The, it starts with a U, the, man, I cannot think of the name of it. You know that big bracket at the top that's between the tire and the, uh, the shock tower? It's, it's U-shaped. What is that called? I can't believe I can't remember it. Oh, my God. Um, Chad Cronauts, give a thumbs up. That's right. If you haven't, click that thumbs up button and smash that subscribe button while you're at it. Uh, let's see. Scout, why don't you lower it and go street rod direction instead? It's a two wheel drive. You see, there's this belief out there that for some reason, if you have a two wheel drive, you can't go anywhere. I didn't have two wheel drives or four wheel drives rather for most of my life. And I never got stuck anywhere, and I never stuck to just roads. So let me tell you, that's a fallacy. That is, that, I think that's actually a way for those that are compensating for their, and I'm not even going to get into that, but I think that's a way for some folks to justify the extra money that they've spent on a 4x4 that they never freaking use. Instead, they pay more money for it, they pay more maintenance for it, it weighs down the truck, costs them in fuel economy, but they can say, I got a four by four. I think it makes them feel better. I don't know what it is. I mean, if I stuck a four by four badge on the side of this truck, most people would never know what it is. You'd have to crawl under it. You'd have to be familiar with the brand. I mean, if it really bothered me and I somehow felt like I was more manly, more manly because it, it needs to be a four by four, I'd just stick a four by four badge on the side and nobody would ever know crazy. Uh, let's see. Lenny Perry. Oh, and I know that was a long non-answer to your question. The answer is no. I'm not looking for a low rider. Lenny Perry. <clears throat> nice. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, Kaysen, Kaysen Knight Blackie. I have no idea what that means. Uh, D. Morehouse. Why bother lifting a two-wheel drive? Why bother lifting a four-wheel drive? Why bother having a four-wheel drive that 96 to 94 percent never use but lift it i mean what, what kind of question is that that's like why am i wearing a black shirt today because i want to um let's move on here uh carson bonner upper control arm upper control arm uca that's it UCA, upper control arm. Why couldn't I? Oh, and uh, Elizardo already answered that. Now, you, you didn't, you took off the uh, the U. 
through me, UCAs. The UCAs are replaced with something uh, a heck of a lot more stout. It's like a one inch, looks like a uh, cast um, piece. Not the thin, you know, junker that they put on the Tacoma's stock. Uh, Lenny Perry, still have a skirt on a 2023, was just wondering. Oh yeah, I always take those off. I took it off, I had a 2018 Tacoma uh, Sport, TRD Sport, and I took it off of there as well. I, it's an aesthetic thing. I mean, if you don't mind the looks of it, I'm sure aerodynamically it does something for the truck. I don't know, but I didn't care for it. Uh, let's see. Turo Jr. Guerrero. Turo, Turo Jr. Guerrero. I hope I got that right. I apologize if I did not. Uh, upper control arm. Thank you. You guys are all kicking in now. D. Morehouse, upper control arm. Yes, that's what I meant. Upper control arm. Uh, you, you thought RCLTHD. I have no idea what that means. Uh, you thought rear locker is greater than not locked four wheel drive. It depends on what you do with the truck. I had a locker. I had a pre runner. It was a Tacoma. It was the second gen. It was a pre runner. It had the locker. I was in deep snow. This was in Columbus, Ohio. I lived on a court, went to drive out of my court. First of all, I couldn't even get out of my driveway. I kicked that rear locker. I locked the rear on, right? All the truck did was this in my driveway. Just a nice little Shakira type uh, sway, if you know what I'm saying. That's all it did. Well, when I finally got it out, because I shoveled a track for the wheel down the back of the wheels, I got to the corner. I stopped because it was a stop sign. I hit the gas and it did some more Shakira. You know what I'm saying? Now, it was quite uh, quite the thing, uh, but I was not happy. I was dressed and I had to wear a, like dress clothes to work, you know, dress pants and dress shoes and a tie and all. So I wasn't dressed to be outside shoveling my truck out, standing in deep snow with uh, slip on work shoes. You know what I'm saying? It did not make me very happy, and shortly thereafter, I traded that truck. I did buy a 4x4 after that, I think. Uh, but as it turned out, I never needed that again. It was only that one snowstorm. We got like, it was like 8, 10 inches of snow, something like that. It didn't happen very often in Ohio, right? But uh, I never needed it again. So I spent, I lost the money on the truck that I, and I really loved that truck too, man. It was awesome. I had a I'm going to tell you right now, and I know you're not going to believe me, but it's true. I had a chrome bowl bar on the front of that truck. It was chrome. I went through a phase before I, I realized. Um, and it was blue. It was kind of like that blue crush color, but maybe a little brighter. Uh, it was an awesome truck, man, but not very, uh, not very handy for me when it came to getting out of stuck stuff. You know what I'm saying? By the way, if you're just clicking on here, Smash that subscribe button if you would. Show me a little bit of love. I'd appreciate it. I really would. <laughs> kind of corny, I know. But hey, you'll remember it, right? When you're sitting there at dinner tonight, and you're talking to your spouse or your buddies or whoever, you're going to say this goofy guy on live stream talks about showing him a little bit of love. You know you will. You know you will. Anyway, let's, uh, let's move on. Uh, Lenny Perry says, agreed. Why get a four-wheel drive if you're not using it, right? Uh, look, at the, look at a guy's inventory sheet. Uh, looked at a guy's inventory sheet today at Tundra's, and all they had were four-by-fours. You see, it's funny, because down here in South Texas, it's almost the opposite. It's like they have a ton of two-wheel drives and not a lot of four-wheel drives. I mean, they have some, but it seems like a lot more two-wheel drives. And I would think down here in Texas where it's, Truck country, you got to have a truck. If you live in South Texas and you don't drive a truck, something's wrong with you. And it better be a 4x4 because if you don't have a 4x4, something else is wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, they have a lot of two-wheel drives down here. I don't know what it is. There are 4x4s I'm talking about for sale. But I don't know who the hell they're selling them to since apparently all you should buy is a four-wheel drive. If you're buying a truck, you're not buying a real truck. I don't know what it is. Anyway, um... Walter says, Shakira is awesome. Oh, she's awesome, all right. Um, Justin says, anyways, sending prayers your way. Uh, what, Justin? Anyways, sending prayers your way. My boy get well soon at 
I don't even know what that means. So I'm going to I'm going to have to remove that comment because it looks to me like you're looking for money on my channel. I don't know why. Um, but if I'm wrong, I apologize. But that's what it looked like to me. So it had to go. Walter, I know a guy who only bought 4x4. Four four. He never used it, but loves showing off. LOL. What did he show off? I mean, if he never used it, did he like grab strangers on the street, drag them over to his truck, open the door and point to the 4x4 four four button and go, look what I got. Or did he take them to the side if he left the badges on and point at that 4x4 four four badge? Uh, maybe he threw them under the truck and said, look at what's under here. I mean, how do you show that off if you never use it? Doesn't make any sense to me. Again, I could slap a 4x4 four four badge on this truck and 99% of the people that see it would never know what it is. I'm just saying. Um, let's see. Manuel Vasquez. Hopefully I pronounced your name right. Your last name. Dude, you funny as shoot. Well, Manuel, I appreciate that. I try to add a little humor to my 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 aura. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Lenny Perry. That one deserves another shot of the green stuff. LOL. You're right. Well, it stresses the vo vocal cords there. You know, kind of thinking about singing. I'm not a singer, you know. Mm. If you don't drink the green nectar, I don't know what you're doing, man. How do you how do you function during the day? Um, Wiley says, I lost two miles per gallon when I took off my air dam off my 23 Tacoma, so I put a series 57 intake TRD accelerator tube. I gained it right back. I got between 18 and 22 miles per gallon, but it's a manual transmission. Did you really lose it? Or did you drive it differently? Because I, I find that hard to believe. And also, putting these things on that you mentioned typically make absolutely no difference. They make a difference on a dyno, which measures like tenths or hundredths. You know, or even the big thing is a lot of people say you can put a cold air intake on and you're going to gain 37 horsepower. Thir 37 horsepower? What is that? It's, you can't feel it. It's nothing. And if I can't feel it, it didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you did. I don't know. I've been wrong about intakes before. You know, on my last truck, I put an intake in my last straw before maybe going to an exhaust because people told me it would make noise. Excuse me. And it did make noise. That's the only problem with drinking the green nectar. Um, and it did make noise. So I was wrong. I admit it. But anyway, uh, Randall Allen uh, says girls or grills. Um, grills. I don't know what that means. Uh, Randall Allen also says sing the Mountain Dew song. Uh, I don't know the Mountain Dew song. Randall Allen uh, says dyno doesn't take aerodynamics into consideration. Uh, could be. I don't know. Uh, Sean Hawk said, has anyone told you you look like the dude from the Fast and Furious in those shades? Uh, no. Yes. Uh, actually, people have. I don't see it myself, but hey. Yeah, if that's what you think, you gotta, I guess he could look like me. I don't know. Um, let's see. Arts and Crafts Girl. Hello. Arts and Crafts Girl. Nice to see y'all. Arts and Crafts Girl. How you doing? Welcome back. I do remember you. You've been on the live stream a couple of times now. I really do appreciate it. I hope that you're subscribed to the channel, which by the way, if you haven't and you're new, click that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And also the thumbs up, if you would, shows me you like the live stream, uh, gives me a little more motivation. So let's get back to the lift. I know a big uh, pause between, uh, I got to turn this fan up starting to get hot in here. You know, when I get excited, I start to get hot, hot. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, the lift, it is a three inch. It's not on the truck. It is what I'm looking at. Three inch, uh, Toyota lift done by Toyota covered under warranty by Toyota. That's important too, right? Um, cost right about 45 Hondo. That's $4,500. Now, some people are going to say, God, that's expensive. I can get a lift for 600 bucks, which I have. However, that was a block and spacer lift. This is not a block and spacer lift. I think I'm just going to stand. It's not a block and spacer lift. Um, it's better in my opinion. Also, in addition to the lift, you've got 
the labor to do it, of course. I mean, it's not going to put itself on. And then you've got new wheels and tires. That's part of the package. Now, wheels and tires, from my experience, and the tires that they're showing are uh, BF Goodrich KO2s, all terrains, um, Toyos, and that's it. Those are the two options. I did ask them if they could do Falcon Wild Peaks because. Uh, if you watch my channel, you know, or channels, I've got them on different vehicles. You got to know I like the Falcon Wild Peaks, right? They're the best tires out there, in my opinion. He was going to check. I see no reason why they couldn't do that. Um, I think that uh, Falcon may also be running a special right now. Buy three, get one for a dollar. Uh, Falcons are cheaper than the KO2s anyway. And you're going to get a whole tire basically for free. I mean, what's a dollar, right? So that's what I would like, like to see if I did this. Now, there's one hiccup for me in this uh, equation, and that is offset. You know, I like a little bit of poke. I mean, who doesn't? I like a little bit of poke. Now, that might not have come out right. Um, anyway, I like a little bit when the tires stick out beyond or poke out beyond the fender wells. If you look down the truck right now, you can see... When I stand even with the side of the truck right here, there is no wheel or tire poke. It's hidden inside the fenders. Come out a little bit and you can see the tires, but now I'm standing at an angle beside the truck, right? So I like when they stick out about, you know, I don't know, maybe about an inch, two inches, something like that. Uh, the new ones would stick out. I mean, sorry, there's my finger. Uh, the new ones would stick out, but they're not going to stick out quite as far as what I would like. They might stick out about a half an inch or an inch, something like that. Oops, my phone is now falling off of my stand. Got to tighten that sucker up. That would be an expensive fail. Uh, anyway, you guys can see it cracks go across the screen, right? Uh, anyway... Uh, Got to have some wheel poke, maybe a little bit more than what they come with. That's my only hiccup in going with what they offer. Um, with the KO2s, you get a little bit of that. I'm not sure if you're going to get the same from the Falcon Wild Peaks or not. It would be the same size tire. And if you want to know the sizes of these, you're going to have to watch that video that's coming. I don't remember off the top of my head. But they are bigger tires. I believe they're 33s. Um, no, they're not 35s. I wouldn't put 35s on the Tacoma because, frankly, uh, I'd be afraid of stealing power from it. I don't want to steal power from it, right? So I'm not going to put a big, giant, honking tire any bigger than what I would put with 33s um, because I just think they're too big. Now, I might change my mind down the road. It depends on how the truck feels with these tires on. When I say down the road, I mean when it's time to switch the tires out again. And I do plan on having this truck for a while. Um, I know I, I said that I'm going to go with the hybrid, and I will, but that might be a little bit longer uh, than what I initially had thought because, frankly, this freaking truck is so good. I love this truck. It's awesome. So I don't know what the timing is going to be for the hybrid, but Wow. So anyway, back to the price, 4,500 bucks. Now, you get the lift, the labor, the wheels, and the tires. Now, if you just look at wheels and tires, for instance, uh, they can cost as much as about 3,300 bucks. I think, uh, I think that's about what I've paid in the past for bigger uh, tires and 18-inch wheels. So 3,300 bucks subtracted from 4,500, is $1,200, right? So the real cost of the lift, and that's the parts and labor, is about $1,200. <clears throat> now, that is about double double the cost uh, of what you could have a cheapo lift done for. In other words, you can have one done for about six to $800, something like that, if you go with a block and spacer. But you're gonna get a block and spacer, so eh, I'm not real hip on doing that. Um, I love that it would be done by a dealer, that it would be warranted by the dealer, and I have the most faith in a dealer, right? Let's check out some comments here. Uh, excuse me, let's see. Rolando. Rolando says, from West Texas with love. Remember, when life gives you Tacoma, uh, you have to mod on. <laughs> I like that, that's, that's absolutely true. Uh, Manuel Vasquez, last week I got a 24 Tacoma. I let my 4x4 Tundra go. 
Dude, I cannot say that I miss it. I went from 13 uh, miles per gallon to 24 miles per gallon. I believe it. I believe it. They are hungry. I've had uh, two or three, three Tacoma or Tundras, I think. They are a thirsty beast. Uh, Dan says, uh, hey, Rob, I heard you got a lift on your Tacoma. Not yet. Not yet. Um, Bill W., why would you lift a two-wheel drive? I've already covered that. I've already covered that. Why am I wearing this black shirt? Because I want to. Uh, Elizardo, not bad. 4,500 for UCA, struts, coils, wheels, and tires. Yeah, I don't think it's a bad price at all. Uh, and <clears throat> you're going to get that really, I think, really cool shipping crate that it comes in, right? Have you guys ever seen that on the web, that, uh, that shipping crate? I think it's pretty cool. I wouldn't pay 4,500 bucks for it, but you know. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mac, Mick, Mick Tay Jr., I've just matched, I've just, now here we got another one. It's preschool day. There we go. We get rid of that. John Morgan, take us down to see the white lifted one at the dealership. That might be helpful. Um, on Sundays, the dealership is closed. It's about 50 minutes away from me. That's one way. And uh, I have a video coming on it. You're going to get to see it. So if you haven't, make sure you click that subscribe button. And smash the notification bell. That way, when new videos come out, you will be notified. And you won't miss when I show you this white lifted Tacoma. And by the way, there's a bit of a bonus in that video too. It just so happens that it's parked right next to a 2024 Toyota Tundra. So you're going to get a little bit of a comparison between the two uh, visually. Uh, because everybody says, of course, that the new Tacoma is nothing but a smaller Tundra. Eh, they share some styling cues for sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jasmine Martin, she's a square laughing green box or something, I don't know. Uh, Uday, hatball, hatball, hatball. I don't know what that means. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, a foreign language or what. Um, so anyway, that's what's going on in my neck of the woods right now. Uh, to recap, the, the, the badges and labels and ugly decals are gone. Let me show you guys. First of all, you get to see the gorgeous red Tacoma. Check that out. Notice, no badge right there. Gone. That's gone. Over here on the side next to the, or on, on the door right there. No more Tacoma. That's gone. And the truck just looks freaking awesome. Real quick. Before we get out of here, because that's what we're going to do, it's lunchtime and I am hungry. Do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on your way out. I really would appreciate it. Flash Gordon says, looks way better. Nice. Thank you, Flash. I appreciate that. Uh, but anyway, smash that subscribe button. Show me a little bit of love. If you wouldn't mind, I really would appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to click the thumbs up button. And while you're showing me a little bit of love, uh, hit that notification bell too. Uh, it just uh, lets you know when new videos come out and things like that. Right here, look at this. We got to shout him out. Jimmy Della Cruz says he just subscribed. Jimmy, I appreciate that. Awesome. Afrim Kuka doing some weird, I don't know what. Uh, Yo Yo Doctor. Um, have I, now I'm going to leave this comment because I'm thinking maybe you're being serious. I don't know. Have you seen anyone with truck? Um, uh, let's just call them testicles. I have, I think it is absolutely absurd. I think it's poor taste and very juvenile. I am not for it. I, I, it's disgusting. I don't know what some people are thinking and why people do that. To me, it's very low class, poor taste. Um, let's see. Ephraim is waving. Thank you very much. Elizardo Ponce says, hey, Rob. Elazar, I should say. Uh, how you doing? Elizardo says, peace out, bro. We'll see, Elizardo. Thanks for being on. Elizar Aponce says, happy Sunday and a happy Sunday to you. Again, thanks for being on, everybody. I really appreciate it. Don't forget, click that subscribe button on the way out, and we'll see you next time. Uh, Wednesday, most likely, live stream, 1130 Central Standard Time, um, or maybe before. We shall see. Have a great rest of your weekend. Bye.